Hey folks, jumping close and welcome back. Last we left off, we defeated the Aberration boss in the Beneath mode, and we've actually gotten a good amount of progress done. But the next boss requires a bit of, um, extra steps to get to. It's not something you can easily access. And it's definitely the most confusing, or was the most confusing boss to access when the Beneath mode first initially released. I know I and myself, as well as a, or myself and a bunch of others in the community, uh, worked together to figure it out. I can't remember exactly who did it, but I know someone actually did end up posting a walkthrough on the Steam Guides page, but that's uh, that's always there if you want to look for it. It's actually pretty popular, but here's a video version of it instead. If you guys have saw, I believe, in the video where we defeated the first boss, the Necromancer, we actually did manage to trap the Pursuer, and that requires a tool you can only find within the shops in the Beneath. So once you buy that tool, you're going to want to wait to, for a Pursuer to come, or buy the Pursuer Heart, and then put it down in lure, or essentially... I guess bait the pursuer into the trap, and you'll get sent up to the facility. Next time you come to the field facility, you will see this. And essentially what's going to happen is you can pick it up. Um, I'm sure you've seen there is a twitchy guy who likes to walk around the area. He tends to stop at a few places so you can find him. Oh, here he is. So what you can do, come up. He shoves you if he gets close to you. But as you can see, he's going to kind of walk around. We're going to follow him for a bit. Eventually he'll get there. <clears throat> I do apologize. I have a bit of a congestion right now, but... Eventually he'll go up to the elevator area, so we'll wait for him. It's going to take him a little bit. He's going to stop here. Hopefully I can get him to move along faster if I just get him to shove me. But you can see that it kind of stuck on his chest now, the sewer heart. He's got some bloody hands. I'm not sure exactly why it happens, but it just happens. I don't know if we plan it on him. It just kind of happens. It's a great animation. But he's very twitchy. I'd like to know more about this guy. I'm not sure why. So he stops there. He's going to continue, continue moving forward, and well, we'll just see what happens. Unfortunately, I wish I could make him walk faster. I'm going to get him to shove me. Okay. Well, like you just kind of slide, just as if you're on a very buttery floor. So he's going to walk closer. I think we're going to get a text prompt here. He's going to walk to the gate and we'll see what happens next. Oh, yeah. Warning anomalous materials detected in the location. Ooh, that sounds, that seems new. Okay. See, the turret just murders him. Um, okay, it actually keeps rotating now, I think. But yeah, so he just absolutely gets blasted by the turret. I don't remember the voice uh, lines being there for that, so that's a new, uh, new addition I didn't know. But yeah, essentially what happened here, after you put the heart on him, he's getting killed next to the gate. And what's going to happen now is we're going to have to go down into the beneath. And this is going to be something you're going to want to repeat essentially over and over again. If you're looking to speedrun it, what we're going to need to do is hope this uh, loads fast, is we're going to have to essentially keep coming back down into the beneath mode. Two, one. Okay, let's. Oh? No? That sound? Oh, there we go. Wonderful. So, yeah. Uh, we're with Katana already. But what's gonna happen is this little mass is going to form. It's a bloody mass that's gonna form as you can see, the little text prompt. So, what are you gonna, what are you gonna have to do? Well, essentially, you're gonna wanna keep abandoning the run at this point, or just get, keep getting killed. I'm gonna abandon the run. But what I'm gonna do is, or I think you're gonna do about three or four times. Eventually, the mass will keep growing and it will say something along the lines of when we see it or cut to it next as something has emerged from the bloody mass. So I'm going to show you guys when we get to that point, it'll keep growing and growing. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys when we get there and we'll take care of it then. Alright folks, and we're back. Essentially what has happened, I believe this is the fourth or fifth time I've had to abandon the run um, in order to progress the bloody mass growth. Um, let's see, I think that was the third time I banned the run, so quick, third, fourth, is he again the fourth or the fifth time? Um, so, give or take, and whatever number is correct, essentially what's going to happen here, we can now progress further into the story, and we'll, uh, eventually cut back to the next part, but as you can see, the Bloody Mass has actually grown quite in size from the last week last set off, it's challenge always, and hopefully we'll see that the text appears, let's give it a moment, right away. Something has been born from the body mask. As you can see, there are footsteps that kind of walk off. Of course, they don't really stay there, but uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and jump to when we get to the ruins, and hopefully we don't die there because I did just get a very good power-up. But I'll see you guys there, and hopefully all things go well, and I will show you guys the progress from then. So I'll see you guys when we're in the ruins. All right, and we're here in Ruins 1. As you can see, there's a... Uh, something a bit different. There is a good amount of licorice all over the walls. Interesting. So, but this is because of the bloody mass that was the problem. 
And in Ruins 1 or Ruins 2, this can appear. So if you don't see it in Ruins 1, don't uh, don't worry, you're not crazy. Don't uh, be like me and some other people and think that you've completely messed something up. All you gotta do is go to Ruins 2 and it hopefully should be there. Um, I'm just trying to see everything we got for them. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can kill these guys. Okay, got them. Uh, but yeah, all we have to do is essentially find a special room uh, and hope that it has a wait until a pursuer. Um, if you find that room, I will just go ahead and find the pursuer and go from there. Uh, yeah, I'm lagging a bit, unfortunately. Uh, you just don't like me fighting this guy, but I do need to find a room. And we're going to be doing this together, as we can tell. I'm not going to skip anything. That was weird. Um, if we can find it right away, perfect. If we can't, then it'll take some time. Uh, sometimes I have been absolutely lost in these levels in terms of finding that specific room we look in because it doesn't spawn what you can find, it only spawns in one room. And if you don't find that room, you can't do the uh, third boss. So, um, <laughs> as I found the Bible, I did manage to find the thing. Uh, I was a lot closer the first time when I remember I found the uh, room I was looking for. It was a lot closer to what I realized. Um, and it took me actually a good amount of thinking and remembrance of what the Pursuer does. And for those folks who don't know or aren't familiar with it, the Pursuer, when essentially passing through things, will turn them into skeletons. Uh, so if they pass through a character like this, it will turn into a skeleton, otherwise it'll just kill the other NPCs if they don't have skeleton models. So humans, it passes through, it turns into skeleton. Um, as a fun fact, in, that's essentially going to give you a little hint to what they'll be doing. But once you see it, we'll go ahead and put it out for now. Let's go ahead and kill things and get as much uh, gold as we can. And um, Purple gems. I don't know what you call them. I think shards. We're just going to call them shards. I think that's better. Um, so hopefully there's actually a shard over down here. I do have a double barrel shotgun that I managed to retrieve from a uh, challenge chest. Okay, we do need to go back down there once we have down here because it might be in that room. It might not. Uh, challenge, challenge, challenge. Where are you? Okay, so there is... I want to kill these guys, let's see if we can kill him before the little uh, acolytes get on him. Oh, it's just a centaurian. Okay. So it's just a centaurian. Easy boss fight. Um, let's see if we can just one-shot him. Oh, we got rid of his shield. And, oh, he's still alive. Alright, well, there we go. So yeah, as you can tell, Double Road Shotgun Enchanted will pretty much one-shot most. Um, I think it'll actually one-shot most uh, Shard Lords in one shot if you hit them in the perspective uh, parts, except for maybe, I think, the Crawler. Um, but yeah, we're going to go down here. So if you ever see an area like this, this is going to be the area where you want to go ahead and look in. Oh, and we found it on the very first room. Okay, so what I'm going to... What the hell? What? Huh. But yeah, so you can see we have a little summoner here who's trapped all in the red tangled vines, all in the delicious licorice. I can't help but think of this as licorice. I know it's supposed to be like bloody vines and whatnot, but it just looks like to me. Um, we do have to wait for the sewer. I'm, if I can find the shop, is it anywhere nearby? It's actually close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the shop, I'm going to buy the pursuer, and then we're going to bring him here and we can go from there. So we'll actually get this done pretty quickly. So luckily it didn't take me too long. And uh, we'll be showing... Oh, okay. Ow. So once we get to the next area, um, what I will be doing is primarily stopping the episode there and then going on to probably fight the what's it called the trickster or the third boss from that point now this is towards the challenge room so i can go back this way so i need to remember okay from here i'll turn right i think once i find the shop i can buy the sewer is it down this way no i can't from this way okay left right i really hope i remember the way back so if i do get lost i'm be very disappointed in myself Okay, the shop's actually just around the corner here, I believe. And what there we go. Okay, uh, ooh, times three ammo, that's nice. Unfortunately, that won't really apply to the gun I currently have, this I don't think. Um, we actually can go ahead and now find, I think I have enough to... I do. I do have enough for the double world shotguns. I did manage to get the shotgun upgrade off screen, um, partially because that was done in the Crystal Caverns and the way of process getting. It took me about 20 minutes. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is actually upgrade the ammo. And we're going to be going for there, because the more ammo I have, the better off I am, and the more I can use the shotgun. I do have two of the strongest weapons in the game, next to, I think I have the Black Katana, the Enchanted, and I have the wonderful, um... I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Oh wait, Pursuer, yeah, that's the whole reason we came here. And we have the wonderful, um... Double Belt Shotgun Enchanted, which are immensely powerful, and pretty much it's hard to lose at that point. 
Um, the trickster box fight, if you do have a ranged weapon, will be much easier. I'm hoping I'm going the right way. If I don't remember where I'm going, like I said, I'll be very disappointed in myself. I'm trying to follow the sense of carnage. No, wait, what? I can't remember. Okay, so maybe this way. Okay. So I go from this way. Um, as you can see with the upgraded compass, I actually didn't realize it because it's so difficult to tell, but we see at the compass, the pursuer is actually in that direction where I'm looking. Um, this is the incorrect room. Yeah, I've already lost where I was going. I said I wasn't going to lose it. Okay, here we are. Oh, apparently this guy is coming in. Right. So yeah, for some reason, enemies in this room will sometimes spawn in the walls. I'm not sure why, but what we're going to do is just wait for the pursuer. And much like with the trap, we've got to lure him right into this guy and get the scepter from him. And this is, I think, the really original part where I figured out as far as I could go, uh, working with a few of the members when the beneath first released back in November. Um, it was confusing. I know you could get the scepter. I didn't know what to do with it. And one thing, uh, one note I missed was that we'll see when the pursuer finally arrives. But um, it is like an indicator, and as much as a weapon. And I was so much closer to accessing the third boss, and I even realized. So, unfortunately, someone beat me to it. it. Took that little victory from me, but it was fun, and it seemed like a little mystery. And that's why I love about the campaign as we're waiting enough to talk about it. Nothing is very clear. Nothing's very instructive. It's all just figuring things out on your own. If there were no guides, a good chance that some people would have never figured this out. I might have eventually figured it out, but it was very frustrating. And but. At the very time, at the very same time, it was a very rewarding, achi uh, a rewarding achievement, and oh, it was pretty fun. Uh, I always appreciate when games don't just hand, uh, you know, hold your hand through it. So we could move a lot faster. But yeah, so we're gonna see what happens here. It's getting closer. The heartbeat's picking up, and um, yeah. <laughs> I think the pursuer moves faster as you stay longer. I think it eventually does reach a speed cap, so it doesn't catch you. Um, I think you can actually got walking maybe if you have speed upgrades, but outrunning is a pursuer is not much of a difficult uh, difficulty. <laughs> I'm gonna drop down here, and so we're gonna watch him pass through in three, two, one. So yeah, it turns the uh, turns the little summoner into a uh, what's it called a skeleton, and now we can see we have to follow. The red light. One thing you need to do is once you finally have a scepter, is if you wave it around, it's blue, but if you look towards the area where the pursuer spawned in and it holds, it points red. And this is the best way you can do it. You can't access the area you need to go to without this wand. You can find the pursuer portal, but it won't do anything. So we're going to hopefully follow this all the way we're going to go. Um, I'm assuming I need to head this way. Go away. And we'll see what the pursuer portal looks like in I think just a moment because we're actually very close. I don't know what that was. That just scared the crap out of me. Uh, pursuer portal. It is not around here. Okay. Hmm. I think I do have to kill these guys. I think I can actually summon things with this. Does it summon ally? It does. So you can summon allies with this. Um, a good amount of them. You summon your own little army, I think. Um, I do have to kill these things. I don't want to use a shotgun ammo. I don't think I have much of a choice. I'm as fair as I can. Oh wow, that's a lot of lag. So yeah. Oh, I do tend to get a lot of frame suffrage in here. Uh, hopefully we have a way to continue though. We need to keep moving that way. It looks like my crystal crabs are having a problem fighting these guys since I think they can only take damage from the legs. Wow, they're actually just blowing them apart. That is, I did not know that would happen. Who's still alive? Who else did we die? Kill me here. Is it over here? Oh, it's just this guy. Okay. We'll get rid of you and we'll keep going. So the real uh, shield should fall. Uh, I hate those little spider things. They're not very dangerous. They don't really kill you. I don't think it'd be easy to die. Um, spider thing, spider thing. Okay. In here, maybe. Oh, and we've wonderful. We found the gate. Once you get to the uh, pursuer portal, all you gotta do is left click with the wand. It'll make that little activation thing. And I'm gonna get rid of this now. I really, unfortunately. Oh, 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 oh. There is a upgrade in here I wanna buy. So I'm gonna do that real quick before the pursuer kills me. And okay, block it. Now, unless you can find a better weapon, I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to So yeah, here we are, and as we can see, we can find our good old friend, the Twixter, or the Twitcher. I think we're gonna call him Twitcher, but he's here. Not sure how I got here, but it's also weird that his little bloody footprints resume at this point. I don't know why they had to go in the first place, but you walk up to the receptacle next to him, or I guess the simulation chamber next to him, and that's all that's needed to be done. And we'll get to see what we happen or what we load into, and we'll go from there. So once that's done, I'll cut the episode here. We'll do the next one, and we all get to go.
But yeah. Oh boy, okay. Construct level four. So yeah, here we are in the construct. I pretty much show you guys all you need to do at this point. From this point, it's just making sure you don't die or lose. You should hopefully have a good amount of upgrades at this point. I have a decent amount of some that should keep me alive, especially the vampire one. But yeah, there are, I think, five different or four different ones uh, levels. There are four. All of which you need to clear before you can fight the trickster. Unfortunately, you don't bring the weapons you had with you, so I forgot about that part. But we'll end it here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.